Assalamu alaikum. My name is Jennifer. I converted to Islam about three years ago. Before I was Muslim, um, I grew up in a Christian home, in a Christian family. Um, my father was a minister, mm -hmm. and my mom, she travels a lot in doing missionary work, so they're very strong Christian family. And that was the path that I followed. That's where, when I grew up as a child, and I went to church, and I watched my dad preach, and this would have been my faith before I was Muslim. I grew up in a foundation of believing in God, but um, throughout high school and, and college, I got really distracted and really lost and just following the crowd like most Americans do. For the most part, I had a great childhood. I'm a happy person, but I just didn't, there was something not there. أدرك جينيفر بأن هنالك شيئا مفقودا وبدأ الصراع يكبر في داخلها لم يكن صراعا لتقبل طريقة جديدة في الحياة بقدر ما كان لترك طريقة قد عاشتها Becoming a Muslim was a long journey for me uh, I did study uh, on my own I read a lot I listened to YouTube videos, debates, um, because it was hard for me to, to say I would not be Christian anymore. I mean, it's something that's not easy for my family, and so this is a big decision. I wanted to be really sure about it. Um, so I did study t just to see what there was to offer in this religion. When I was in college, I had never really heard of Islam very much, although I did go to journalism school and 9-11 happened when I was in college. So this is my first big impact of, oh, there is Muslims and this religion of Islam out there and I really don't know anything about it other than what the media portrayed. I didn't show a lot of interest in it at that point. Uh, after college, I did join um, a job basically riding horses. I followed my passion to ride horses. And so during this experience and this job, I got to travel a lot. Now, I did work closely with um, two Muslims. I just wondered why aren't they eating during the day or drinking during the day, but yet they're riding horses and they're working just as hard as I was. And so this sparked my interest a little bit um, because these two individuals were um, very respectful um, they were very, very nice gentlemen and very professional. So it was something that was opposite of my previous stereotype that I had had in journalism school. I am the Imam of the Islamic Institute of Orange County. Also, the masjid has a, a name of its own, which is Masjid Umar. And if you ask me what would be the, the primary reason, I think the increased wave of uh, hate and bigotry uh, against Muslims uh, is actually causing more people to investigate and learn about Islam, and many of them, you know, end up choosing, you know, Islam. I met Jennifer for 2006. Uh, at work, and he was just a co-worker, we worked together, I mean she was just a normal American girl, you know how they live, <laughs> and then I left the uh, company, she left as well, she went to North Carolina, I came to California. After a few years, it was time for me to, to go on and, and try to, to do something else with my life, and for some reason, I kept thinking of, of this religion, and I had been introduced to it. And so this is what stimulated me to, to start to study. During the time that I was learning about Islam and fasting during Ramadan, the only person that I knew um, was actually now my husband. <laughs> 
So he, I would call him occasionally um, to ask questions, but for the most part, I did most of this on my own. Um, but when I did read and I got excited to share something, if I something in the Quran like really moved me, I um, I would tell him about it. But other than that, I didn't know, have really anyone to experience it with me. I was afraid to tell my family at that time. I didn't want to, I didn't think they would understand the journey I was going through. And so, for the most part, I, I really didn't have anyone to talk to throughout this um, time except for um, Reda, which was not my husband at the time. <laughs> No, a year after that, she moved to California for different reasons. And so far, the option to marry an American wasn't in my head. <laughs> I didn't know that it was important to marry a Muslim because I wanted um, to complete my, my deen. When somebody convert, they are much more serious about it. They want to learn more. and. and then when you get into to knowing more, there's no limit. You keep searching, you keep learning, you keep... And most of the time they turn knowing Islam better than we do, as people who've been born, sadly. And I wanted a support system, someone that, that knew perhaps more than I did about the religion, and um, someone I could talk to about it and really grow together and to closer to Allah, you know, to having both of us work through life together and have the same goals and the same aspect on life. So it was important to me. You know, it's not an easy life change, so if we weren't really motivated, then then why why make this big change, you know? Why get up for Fajr and wash and pray if I didn't really want to know this religion and to do it to please Allah? That may be surprising a little bit what I'm going to say. I'm not helping her as far as Islam, honestly. There's a lot of things I learned about Islam through her, because she's learning. And you want to hear something funny, sometimes even they read Quran and she's like, the pronunciation is not correct because she has uh, Quran. Uh, Just recently, um, but then reading the Quran is, is something important to me and learning to read Arabic is important to me as well. And so that's where I decided to start. Instead of starting with the language, I decided to start uh, to be able to read the Book of Allah because that I feel like was more important first and then inshallah maybe the language will come. H, خ, د, ذ, ر, ز. لم تكن الدراسة وحدها من قرب جينيفر من الله، بل الصوم كذلك، وهو الانضباط الذي لم يكن سهلا كما كانت تعتقد. I thought I could do one week, so I said, okay, I will, I will try it for one week. And subhanallah, after a week, it just became easier, and I really felt proud to to not eat or drink all day and the reason you're doing it is to please Allah and it just reminds you of of Allah like all day long so it was it was really a a blessing to have this time where I could read the Quran <laughs> So more and more as the month went on, I became closer and closer to God. And I wanted to know how to pray, but I didn't have anyone to teach me. I didn't know how to pray. I witnessed it when I went to the mosque one day um, for Maghrib prayer. I wanted to see how Muslims pray. Very, very nice people. I can, they noticed that I was a visitor, but they took me in and they were very nice and they put a chair for me and let me watch the prayer. And through the interaction with them, it just made me feel very welcome. And so then I decided I wanted to come to the mosque more often um, for the evening prayers during Ramadan. And so I, I started to cover with a scarf just to go to the mosque and I would stand with the other ladies and I just would mimic their emotions. I didn't know what to say, but I felt the urge that I really, really wanted to pray. 
and so I would just mimic them and I did learn Bismillah. <laughs> so I said Bismillah <laughs> and I just prayed with them. I did feel um, a very overwhelmed joy from it. The humility that you feel is really indescribable and not, nothing that you can get from any other religion. Through this whole experience, through fasting, through, um, I had told myself I would try to read the whole Quran during this month because I had heard this was a good idea as well. <laughs> so um, towards the end, I really, I couldn't read anymore because it really just made me sob. I was crying from what I was reading and, and I knew at that point that this was the religion for me. And so the day before Eid, I went to the mosque for Maghrib prayer and I prayed with the ladies and then I just asked the, the sister next to me if um, I could um, say my shahada. Mm -hmm. And she got very excited, of course. She thought I was already Muslim because she had seen me there. I was going every evening. Uh, and so I met the imam and then there we, um, I had witnesses around me and the imam so the shahada with me. That so was a beautiful, beautiful experience. And of course, afterwards, everyone's so happy for you. And they come and they kiss you, my brook, and they get really excited. <laughs> and um, they just took me in, really. And I just, it's kind of it my destiny. It's just like discovery. Every time they discover something new, and um, kind of makes sense to her. I mean, it's really important for somebody to convert. And, you know, it's like every time they learn more, oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. That's answered my question when I was a kid. That's... Converting to Islam has, has affected my life um, in a good way, definitely. Um, but then again, I, I feel like I was also the same before in some aspects. She has become a completely different person than from what I knew of her, not personally, but through my own daughter, because um, they were very close friends. And I, I'm, I'm amazed, I just am amazed. Every day I see things in Jennifer that make me feel that she was meant to be Muslim and she was meant to be with Retta. I mean, we think we have a plan in our life. I don't think we have a plan, I think it's Allah already have the plan and we just walk through that path. Really it brought a lot of structure, organization, focus I believe and it's also motivated me to to educate myself more mm -hmm. um, because every day I learn something new about Islam and that's just a, one of the wonderful things about it and I, I love striving to to educate myself and what is the, the truth.